Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader Blind Playthrough. My name is Saiken and we're playing on Harder Than Unfair difficulty on our first attempt uh, with the game. And we landed on a planet that uh, just appeared. Uh, it, it was the one uh, that the uh, Xenos, the Drukhari, were apparently just attacking. And it was simply a dialogue on the planet, which then led into um, us actually going onto the planet. And since Marazai uh, needs to be here, apparently this is him um, settling the score with the other Drukhari, I figured might as well test out our team number two. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go into it, but I wanted to at least showcase what the characters are going to do. So Marazai, um, I refined his build a little bit. He's still dual wielding. Uh, he still cannot heal himself, but um, he uses a lot of dodge and uh, basically charges from one enemy to the other. And I gave him a stinger shot ring because I felt that that was very fitting for an assassin. Uh, just uh, stunning one enemy. Um, Avalar is the same um, as always. He's just absolutely fantastic. A uh, tank like no other. Uh, he's uh, con continuing to stay in the in the front line, uh, and he's going to be our main tank uh, here. Then we got in always. midfield, I would say, uh, Jay, who I built with dual pistols. I also gave her plasma so that she can use a plasma uh, pistol. And I gave her a grenadier uh, so that she can use fire grenades. Your I should say that Abelard uh, does have a big fat flamer in hand, um, which, by the way, is massive if he ever manages to um, to hit with it, uh, given that uh, his damage is not the important part, but uh, igniting enemies, however, is going to be important. A second way of igniting enemies is going to be with these consumable fire grenades, just for free. Um, then a couple of plasma bolting shots on top of it. And we have toxic needles, uh, so we're already having um, a bit of um, flames and a bit of um, poison. Um, to round it up, um, Marzai Entertain me. does have uh, the ability to charge, and then at the end of the charge, um, he will cause uh, the enemies to bleed. So we have bleeding, poison, and we got a lot of uh, fire. And all of that will come together nicely. Um, Jay here is going to have a couple of officer abilities. You can uh, see she's coming in with linchpin. Um, and uh, she is also coming in with inspire. So that's really her personal um, uh, shtick. I would say we're we're putting all of uh, that down here, so that you can voice of command, inspire, and linchpin into bring it down. Uh, she personally has pressed the advantage if uh, needed, um, as uh, well as a couple of other abilities such as move, move, move where everybody uh, gets massive movement uh, movement points. So uh, her idea, however, is she has a special ability where when she attacks with her prime uh, weapon, the second weapon will be for free. So I am just dual pistoling. And the idea would really be uh, uh, plasma overcharge into toxic burst or just uh, sing a plasma shot into a toxic burst because the second one is for free. Should have maybe given her a reloading trinket now that I see how little ammo she does have, but uh, we can still improve step? on that. Bloody Matter of fact, um, let's maybe think about it. Uh, now nah, we're just we're good uh, whenever she uses press the advantage which is this ability here uh, she's also creating a lot of uh, momentum so uh, she is supposed to uh, help out others with the officer ability but also deal some uh, decent damage herself and be relatively mobile in in the process of doing that 
Um, she is going to be kind of the officer of the team. Did I mention now, that with Irelia, um, jokes? Iridia, uh, <laughs> I've done um, a completely new build. Cold. I rebuilt her from <laughs> what I've done uh, before. Um, because here's the thing, as the prime team, we already do have uh, Saiken with uh, the uh, with uh, the uh, typical abilities around um, buffing everybody. Um, and if you look at the uh, five schools, let's just get into um, her archetype for uh, for a moment. If you look into the different uh, five different uh, schools, right? So um, uh, we're we're uh, we're having biomancy on. Um, Heinrichs, uh, who is healing and tanking very well with it. I don't think that we need to replicate it. We do have part of divination on Heinrichs, um, mainly the dodging uh, parts, which is fine. Uh, the Sanctic powers are uh, done with uh, Heinrichs and Saiken completely, and telepathy is done very well with uh, Saiken as well. It's going to be kind of his second school after uh, the Sanctic powers. And in my perspective, Sanctic powers are a little bit too strong. Uh, the school outshines the others. It's just a very, very strong uh, school all around. Uh, telepathy uh, seems like a very strong school as well. So I didn't want to kind of just rebuild uh, that. So what we're going uh, to do with Iridia is a heavy armor build. Yes, you heard that correctly. Um, uh, we got uh, this armor here uh, from a merchant and no one really has heavy armor and is a psyker. And it reduces the psychic phenomenon's uh, chance by 10%, which is the biggest problem with her uh, to begin with. So um, in order to, to uh, pull that off, um, I then decided uh, not only to raise strength a little bit and give her heavy armor, but I also thought about like which of the five schools would, would really work well. And we have never seen deep divination and we've also not seen pyromancy. So I started with pyromancy and really from there on things fell almost in uh, in place because pyromancy has a lot of, uh, say shall I say, passive abilities uh, that will uh, make or features that will that will make her um, uh, great um, just to showcase a couple of them so that you understand what I uh, mean um, uh, there are uh, there's for instance um, backdraft where whenever the psyker deals damage uh, with whatever uh, anyone uh, close to the target will take extra damage so it's a little bit like a better version of aftershock um, whenever uh, you deal damage uh, there is a stacking one percent uh, crit chance then body of flames uh, uh, the psyker gets super high armor extra armor against uh, flames and uh, halves all, all of the uh, damage from uh, burning laser and melter and um, uh, then that can be combined uh, with a relentless blaze. So whenever the uh, psyker is burning him uh, themselves, they get a higher psi, uh, psi rating and more resolve. Um, so really what uh, Iridia is doing is she's going to set herself on fire and um, that will give her a lot of passive uh, benefits. I have uh, I have quite a bit of equipment that I could have used in order to make her a melee character even, uh, but I felt we already have two melee characters, so that really wouldn't fit that well. And the thing is, uh, melee characters would be warriors um, more than anything else, and she's an operative. So um, what I've done with her in a nutshell is I've uh, made sure that the, uh, from an archetype perspective, that the operative uh, just uh, gives her uh, a lot of passive bonuses for extra damage. And then we went into Grand Strategist where uh, we're using just one combat zone um, and the ability to act relatively early. Um, and that one combat zone we will overload with a stratagem um, here with the combat locus stratagem. Um, uh, so that the bonuses will be doubled. And other than that, um, the, the rest really uh, all around her, her uh, casting abilities. And the main damage will, uh, in my perspective, come from Inferno. 
which is a burst version of um, f um, of just f uh, flames. Uh, so we're going to shoot quite a few uh, quite a few shots uh, there and on top of it uh, we do have a singing spear where uh, basically she can uh, mark a target and then uh, that uh, target will receive a critical hit immediately. Uh, she also has equipment such as the pack of reagents where uh, more burning and uh, toxin is happening and what I'm hoping we will get out of it is that she basically sets everything on fire. Uh, the world on fire and that plus um, she also has uh, fire grenades plus Jay's fire Slating grenades plus uh, the, the, um, the uh, uh, plus the uh, flamer uh, from Abelard should be very very good and if you just look at her abilities um, there are quite a, a few abilities where uh, she's just using the standard um, operator's ability, specifically tactical knowledge, in order to give her um, uh, a damage bonus until the end of combat. And then the core abilities for her will be uh, Warp Burn, uh, that deals a lot of damage and has armor penetration, but can also be applied to herself, uh, which is important. Uh, forewarning is another nice little self buff. Um, then we do have Orchestrate Flames, uh, which is cool. The target doesn't stop burning, uh, so you can do that not only for yourself but for others um, as, um, as well. Um, and we do have In Flame, uh, which once everybody is burning, um, uh, they will receive more uh, damage. And uh, there, there's even one more burning talent that I would love uh, to get. Um, and there is also wildfire that allows you to spread the burning to, to more people. I don't think that burning will be the main um, cause of damage, but it will be a pretty sizable uh, one. So uh, ignite uh, and then inferno uh, sets multiple uh, people uh, on flame. Uh, then this here will be less important. We're just still going to uh, do a bit of forewarning on uh, the agile characters, but in a nutshell, that's not that important. What is important is putting a front line down, putting the locust uh, uh, gem down, and then starting to uh, effectively here yeah, use that uh, burst attack and uh, let it rip, let it rip. So we're having. Uh, quite a few uh, quite a few shots I don't know how many I think three four um, and all of them uh, should deal a lot of damage so that's the idea behind her build she's really more uh, dam uh, damage dealer um, pyromancer build earlier you already know by now I just made sure that uh, she has a bit more range at her disposal and that she can work well. And uh, for Saiken, what I wanted to, uh, to make sure is that we're not just falling into the same trap as we have beforehand, uh, as in letting him clear out the entire battlefield. Uh, that's not what we want to do. Instead, I will play him more as an officer in this particular comp because I want to see how the other five characters are doing. I already know that he I can, uh, with, uh, with his uh, sanctified staff, uh, do all of uh, the heavy lifting. But I think uh, he can be an excellent healer. And this might be a little bit longer, prolonged um, fight and not the immediate we burst it all down type of fight. And specifically that fire, um, um, that that fire uh, combination between Iridia, uh, Jay, and no uh, um, and Abelard might be something that is worthwhile exploring. So, very different builds. Let's see how they are playing out. All right, enough for wobbling. Let's uh, get this exploration going. Intriguing. So we got our new team, and I am intrigued to see what we're going to find out. The Taurus Foundation goes down tens of meters in the spires obscured with ice. The world will bow. The whispers told me how. Thousands of bodies have merged into frozen snowdrifts covering the, sn uh, the streets. Okay. Oh, come on. Icy crystals growing from under the snow form a vague alarming figure. Embrace true power. Keep running, man. F 
fall of Sentinel's pride, what am I witnessing? No, no, no. Where is the fall of Sentinel's pride? Hmm, apparently nothing here. It says it was a quest, but we don't even have a quest here. The world turned out to be completely different from what I've had imagined. My distant home of Alvi Artari, uh, though a thrust and black sense, is nowhere as hot as this stone cocoon. Okay, I think that the frozen part comes from... Um, effectively kidnapping the sun. All right, before we're going down there, let's explore what we can find up here. The snow clearly shows trails of a body being dragged and reveals several pair of footsteps. Wonderful. Okay, not very good. Your kind has no place in the You galaxy. have been ambushed. Fabulous. Okay, well, 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 well. I said I don't want to single handedly do the encounter with Saiken, given that these guys here have. Uh, are the Beastmasters, whilst these guys here are called Sharpshooters. That suggests that we're better off by simply moving into cover from the left-hand side. Full cover is always better than half cover. And how about... One step we're giving... Hmm... Good question. Abelard, the turn. Who buffs everybody around him? Uh, thanks to Brace for Impact. Three cell radius. You, you. Uh, earlier, potentially as well. Nope. Earlier, not. Um, yeah, we can again. Only barely get everybody here. Uh, in range, but okay. Couple of temporary wounds for everyone. I could start burning uh, the guys to crisp up there. But instead, we're just going to use defensive cooldowns. Um, and we're starting to move cool. in that direction. Thanks to charge. Alright, so we're not burning yet. I wonder what's, uh, what's the right call. Should I... Start burning myself. Idiria moves up the uh, here. And four starters. We need to get as much um, extra um, extra damage as we can. So let's just double check. We could hit one, two. Ah, really bad. Can't hit either side properly. Uh, in terms of defensive buffs, Marzai gets one. There you go. Cover efficiency and dodge. Okay, well.
I think for once Was that you? we're just putting a back line in. We are we'll doubling do. the bonuses, so everybody here should now have like what? Uh, 2017 cover and uh, uh, dodge. And on top of that, we're getting more cover efficiency. So we're playing it defensive instead of offensive. Of course, would be good to hit uh, these clowns up there. But I think for once, I. Would start putting ourselves Why on fire. Anything else? Continuing to burn. Unfortunately, can't attack, so that was really just the first round. And if we take. Um. If four more exploits are removed, and we could uh, make that happen by what? doing this was that you? and or removing the exploit, which now gives her yet another buff. She's trying to play uh, and find out how she works. Very good. And we got additional damage for that as well. Tactical knowledge. Fabulous. Idea, uh, Idira uh, is burning, does have currently. Let's see. We haven't used a lot. But she, wh where do we see her psychic rank? Movement points, quite a few. Good amount of dodge. The armor is even better. That's fantastic and we got a lot of help there. But yeah, Psychic Rank should be 6 or 7 now. Okay, well that's a good successful first turn. Earliot goes over here. <sighs> if I must. Sets Sharpshooter over there. If puts a, a trap course. there. Perfect to... Uh, prevent uh, these guys from doing anything. We're up to monkey. eight x uh, mm, uh, eight uh, exploits. If it serves your cause, Elliot hits for eighty-three, which is great, this and then finishes been... this guy right after. Come on, really? Good, we're trailing that thing. Fantastic. So I can could uh, mm, completely hit the enemies, I but won't do it. Instead, items. we're giving everybody Ruin beckons. lots of defenses. Don't even need to heal anyone, so we're Gucci. And I think earlier it could be could be the way to go here. This, Try that, it. and the other. Earlier it gets a full new turn. If it Kills this guy. Course. Fabulous. With that, uh, Bounty Hunter uh, simultaneously uh, makes several attacks. Number of attacks equal to the number of prey in combat. Uh, that would not be good. Uh, instead... Instead, we're waiting because the officer, the officer ultimate is better. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. If it's good, this is course. going to be our prey going forward, and we're hitting it for no a solid hundred thirty-five. Fantastic. 
Put another um, trap up there. And we're good. Very good. Um, Marazai or Iliad? Whom are we going to pick? Iridia is an option as well. I think that's not a bad idea, actually. I want to see how the pyromancer thing uh, works. So, Iridia it is. Look at the damage. Anything Holy else? smokes. There is movement in the Empyrean. Hmm. No can do. We'll do one. Two. Was it you? Three. Um. I think everybody here. Can we hit over there? Oh wow, we can't even hit that far. <laughs> okay. Well, then everybody takes extra damage. Wow, they're almost dead. But of course, what Kills jump over uh, with the remaining damage. Holy smokes, that was good. We'll do. Wow. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with the fire build so far. Jay moves up. Gets a free action. Um, I think we're just going to plus my overcharge, to be fair. And see if this triggers uh, the secondary weapon. It uh, certainly does. And uh, we go cheap. Good, let's let Jay shine as well. And let's just get rid of uh, this Beastmaster here. Still seeking in the zone. I will triumph. I'm a wow. That is beneath me. Lots of shots, uh, just can't find a target, really. Yeah, we're moving up the stairs here. Again, Sigan's turn. Oh, my lord. Um, 
That second team so far has a pretty impressive uh, rundown as well. I move swiftly to strike if it serves your cause. One hit. Gets a kill and <clears throat> another hit. Can't hand over our actions to anyone else. Jay gets a few more. Good. Well, let's just let everybody make attacks. <laughs> okay, we have taken zero damage. Uh, the team was supposed to not deal that much damage. But there she did very, very well. Holy smokes. Let's seize the opportunity. In all fairness, though, in all fairness, though, that was a <coughs> intriguing Iridia's uh, mm, little maneuver with uh, with her fire. That I mean, she had uh, unlimited attacks. Oh, she had all of the AP as attack for one round, thanks to the um, heroic. But still, it was very good. It was very good. Um, that was not a bad pistol. I tread a path unexplored. Want to see how Jay is doing? Watch your steps. What advice do you seek? Did you hope to see an Azuriani fail? Very good. The world trembles beneath my feet. A couple of grenades are always okay. Still need to find a better way of um, igniting ourselves with the re um, with. Um, Did you want something? Iridia, because. <coughs> Idira, sorry, uh, because power. that takes away one round just to prep it. Oh, the irony! Over. Let's seize the opportunity. Hey, what's that? Interesting city. My kin. Definitely a Drukhari attack. <clears throat> the world will bow. Sharkras, you went too far. The monkey will uh, be off his ancestors by now. I granted him two dozen non leather wounds, so he will have time to enjoy his suffering. No, no, kill me already. Just end it, I beg you. I tread a path unexplored. How may I serve the dynasty? State your intention. I walk the path less traveled. Yes? Can we ignite ourselves? Look no further. You I am not a vessel for pain. I am my temple. Are we ignited? <laughs> no. No, we're not. 
Unfortunate. Marazai. Abelard goes di directly deep into the enemy's uh, lines. Uh, <coughs> Second, we will give the extra turn to Idira uh, so that she can set up. I need no guidance. Stop it! We'll do. That is not my destiny. Hmm. On it. Take this and Marzai gets a bit of that. What? Nice little front line. You, or... And we're good. Yira moves up into cover. Um, uh, we're doing this, plus give me all of your um, stacks so that I'm properly buffed. And now we're ready to go. How can we hit them? I wonder just why the damage is so low uh, with her staff. Um, for starters, that Cabalite Warrior. Oh, that count oh that counts as an attack oh come on really I thought it was a preparation for an Not attack well never mind in that case on it. Jay gets a buff this thing uh, this this thing there gets a buff and Uh, and but of course. we're opening them to uh, be more easily hit. Okay. Purpose guides me. Good. Everybody gets some buffs and. We're also healing. We do a bit of that, and a bit of that, and a bit of that, and then Marzai is going to move forward. Let's go, some, some nice little melee attacks, shall we? That indeed was a fantastic hit, um, opening from the side, and unfortunately a dodge. Hmm. Not enough. Good. Listen. We're slowly moving over here. It will be done. Using 
our brace for impact. Then we're moving up here. All of you guys attack me, please. Victory is imminent. It will be done. And Abelard just goes to town. Look at that. Should have maybe used the flamer to uh, to burn them to crisp, but it's okay. Ouch. Okay, that Medusa needs to die. Holy crap. I understand your intent. Hmm. Hmm, how can we deal with that Medusa? That's one option. I'm just thinking out loud here. If it serves your cause, I am not your Get one sharpshooter down. We missed a 95% shot. That is heartbreaking. Good hit <coughs> overall. <coughs> Good hit overall. Well, Medusa needs a new opening. Watch. It is her. I've never felt pain like this. Uh oh. We're we're in trouble. Desperate measures. This tedium is beneath me. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Good. Let's get this guy down here. Very, very nice hit. sprint through him that is unfortunate man can move right into him but that's pretty much about it to have anything sure Good. Moves up all the way to here. Another Medusa. This time... Uh, this sword here is... Which one is the life-drinking one? Ah, this one here. <laughs> Say what you will. 
But Marzai has just cleaned house. <laughs> I am not your Xenos at that time. Foul breath. If it serves your cause. This tedium is beneath me. If it serves your This battlefield air is good for my lungs. Suck it up and fall. There you go. Thank you. Move up. You too need to burn. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, hmm. Let's get that Medusa down. Alright, Didira. Moves up. Uh, I don't like the Medusa. Very dangerous foe. Therefore, full cover. Can't hit her directly, but I could. Guess so. Hit her with ignite. Cover me. Might as well kill this cabalite here. Alright, first of all, since both of you are burning, we're just going to use our extra burning damage skill. And uh, second of all, that what? plus that extra you? stratagem. Uh, plus free stratagem, because you guys can simply move the stratagem in order to move up there. No can do. And on more it. damage on the Medusa. And then we're just moving out of line of sight. <clears throat> cool. Saiken. Heals everyone. Everyone is protected. Ravage and conquer. Marzai gets an extra turn. Moves all the way up to here. Opens them up. And I'm just waiting until the next turn. A tactically sound approach. It will be done. Victory is imminent. Good, both of them are fighting Abelard. And since you don't, uh, he isn't dealing a lot of damage, might as well just I declare the Medusa to a, a mortal enemy. Taking the long ranged weapon. Can't hit anyone. Approach the designated position. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. 
if it serves your cause. I am not your Good, reduces cover and we're doing a decent amount of damage. Oh, 260, I like that. Don't distract me. Medusa's gone. If it serves your cause. Good, let's finally see what Jay can do. What this is a perfect that? setup for her. She could just give an action to someone else, but no, I don't want that. I want that she buffs herself. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. And look I at that. that. 360 points of damage. Yeah, the damage is nice, but I've seen just how much we are receiving. Uh, Intriguing. Once, um, once that Medusa was starting to um, use her counterattacks. A strange, meaty growth sized human hat is clinging on the skull and the neck of a man. The um, emancipated face, at least part of what you can see under the pulsating alien flesh, bears no emotion. Second, do not look. Your vision grows dim and you have a sinking feeling in your chest, but you're still alive and you're trying to open your eyes. Dark figures dash about the twisting shadows cast on fire. One of them is standing in front of you, casually tossing something from one hand to the other. You slowly turn off uh, with your stiff neck and dumbly stare into the stump where your right arm used to be. The figure cl uh, comes closer and closer, tosses a, uh, a frozen hand onto the ground and breaks off the tip of your... Uh, nose with a little crunch. Why haven't you died with the others? Why are you still alive? All right, these feelings are not yours. You concentrate your will and shrug off the unbiddling emotion with a compulsion. The illusion is gone, but inexplicable anxiety still lingers in your soul. Uh, in all of this on holy terror, you, Van Valencius, poke your nose into every mysterious abomination you encounter. It must run in your blood. Why didn't you choose a quiet post away from the frontline quartermaster of the magnetic coil warehouse or such a thing? Lord Captain, are you right? Forgive me. Didn't have a chance to warn you. Shireen, are you still with us? Uh, the thing before you is a xenoparasite that Meiji biologists call medusae. These creatures are latch onto the brain of a nervous system of their victim with dozens of tendrils assume control over the body. The nature is yet to be fully studied, uh, studied but the prevailing hypothesis claims that medusa are co uh, capable of absorbing strong feelings. <clears throat> the parasite appears to be tightly and permanently attached to the victim's head, or so it seems. You spot a certain pattern in the location of the tendrils on the host body, making a few incision, uh, inc uh, incisions here and there would probably allow you to separate the creature from its bearer. After a few well-placed cuts, the parasite's meaty body convulses, making a thin tendrils go, uh, go soft and unable to maintain the grasp. <clears throat> you dislodge them one after the other and soon the parasite releases the host of its own violation. The parasite is dead and of, of no further interest. Take the man to the void ship. Elite blaster pistol. That's a nice blast. For a lot of damage. The world trembles beneath my feet. Wow. Okay, well, a couple of first impressions for the group. For starters, uh, this group definitely ha can pack a punch. It's not that there is a shortage of, um, of damage 
quite the contrary. It seems the damage in the end game uh, seems to be a given. The question is more whether or not you do have enough defenses Let's to actually apply all of uh, that damage because we have had a few situations what where, um, well, Marajai. one situation actually, no where we have finally taken damage and uh, hmm. it didn't look very you good. Let's put it that way. Saiken was still okay, but so the others uh, were despair, just as you having a before. pretty hard day. Couple of blade master, rack, and more enemies. I sense something nearby. Did you hope to see an Azuriani fail? Will bow. Okay, if we can take the high ground, we should be fine. Over here would be more difficult to obtain that, but Powers this here should give us. This should give us a good uh, start. Abelard uh, moves in, followed by Marisai. Jay moves up. Saigon stands behind. And as always, we are going to give Iridia that little edge that she needs. Starts what burning herself. Stop it. Anything is. I like the d defensive stuff as well. But frontline extra damage isn't bad either, so I'm not gonna lie, that is a easy way of getting some more damage. Now let's go with the front line. Was was that you? Or anything else? On it. Fabulous. Good. Iridia has all of the buffs that she needs, ah. and we're ready. could move all the way to here and hit these guys which I think would be the easiest way all right might as well let's go Iridia moves up here. Marazai could be a good option uh, to clean this here. At um, least a little bit up. But before we're doing anything... That, that, that... Then that, 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 and uh, that, and let's uh, see if Marazai is worth his money. Oh, 
One hit. Uh, an opening. And a very nice hit. Uh, that guy is bleeding heavily and is burning. Okay, we do have a problem. Everybody has taken a lot of damage now. That is an issue. Just a minor setback. Good. All of you attack me. At your back and call. It will be done. At your back and call. Indeed. Follow my lead. Victory is reduced to dust. Oh, perfect. That's one down. Desperate measures. Shall we take it with Abelard? No. Not yet. Alright, Uriot. I am not your Xenos pet, Monkey. Get that Cabalite uh, warrior here. This tedium is beneath Scout me. them. I understand your intent. Fantastic hit. If I must. Are you moving? I no more. No. Claiming the bounty. If it serves your cause. We'll place another trap down there. Okay, we do have a problem. This incubus is way too strong. Don't distract me. Uh, does this here deal strength r r damage while Marza is bleeding? He gains more resolve. That is not bad. Uh, but he's already bleeding. We're giving ourselves a couple of extra hit points because that indeed is helpful. I uh, should have used uh, Killing Edge. My bad. Good. Saiken. Uh, simply heals everyone. Well, with the exception of Iridia, uh, because she unfortunately wasn't in range. Not good. Jay moves up here. Gives herself a little bit of this and a bit of that, and uh, then we're going to hit. No, we're not going to hit because uh, that thing does have a huge dodge bonus, apparently. You've got a problem, I've got a prize. I'd like to, but I can't. Good. 
Uh, that is a good start. Front line moves to here because you need to die. That's more like it. There is movement in the Empyrean. Double the bony. And we're life draining ourselves back thanks to our fire magic. Well, that Cabalite warrior is not looking very good, specifically since they are burning for 12 permanent. I'm a member. You take that, and whilst we're at it. Saiken is doing this and try. that. I won't waste my time on that. One step closer. And Destiny. Now you read What are we going to do with you? Anything else? There's one. Will do. That's two. What is this foreboding? That's three and four. Anything else? That's five and six. Good, back. Sorry, needed to take a short break. Uh, that's crazy damage overall. Hmm. Where could I go in order to hit the last remaining guys? Uh, sort of, yes. Crazy turn, she just killed everyone in Idiria, that is. Now nah, I can't hit them. This tedium is beneath me. I understand your intent. Wow, and we got like what, 25 movement points? <laughs> this is uh, disproportionate. I don't know what else to say. I'm not so sure. A moving target. And imagine, I mean, we can go like, like this yet again. Me. hit them up there I don't know if this will destroy his barrier but we nah. not worth it
Descend upon the weak. I will triumph. This guy has really put himself into the only position. Literally the only position where where he would be safe from all of this. Crazy. I need no guidance. On it. This and that, and we're done, I believe. <laughs> what a crazy turn. Okay, so the fire build turns out to be uh, not that bad, actually. Too hard for a simple I monkey. Unexplored. Simply, uh, simply the all of the passive buffs that you get once you got it going. It's it's crazy damage and ignite in itself is a wonderful single target nuke. The world trembles. The staff is a feet. bit disappointing. I was hoping it would do a bit more, but it's actually not doing a lot more. My patience has its limits. Intriguing. But all of her self healing, for instance, that is extremely, extremely good. Embrace true power. Also, um, Maraza, very, very strong. I like what I'm seeing. And earlier, not bad either. Not at the same level of damage. But she gets a lot of turns due to the Bounty Hunter special abilities Let's and makes it easier um, for targets to be hit and marks all of them. So, yeah, she's a sniper, but she's at the same time kind of a support in a sense, if that makes the sense. World will bow. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. And then um, Jay. Hasn't really shined uh, that bright so far, but then again, whenever it was her turn, she effectively buffed someone else. And that was okay. That really was okay. Powers unseen uncover my path. Well, that's a pretty sizable dungeon, actually. Good. Given that there is a full-fledged dungeon here, I think we're calling it. Um, this group will continue the next time. But for now, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, next time, we're going to continue uh, Warhammer 40k New Rogue Trader. If you like the you. alternative team, the Misfits or the Suicide Squad, whatever you want to call them, uh, then leave a comment and a like down below. And let me know what you think of the builds. Take care and have a good one.